I'm back today with a chemistry topic and that is the blast furnace, aka the manufacture of iron. Nice quick video, I'm going to speed through it. First of all, we need to talk about the ore from which iron comes from. Now, ore is just a rock which contains a large amount of metal, which makes it worthwhile to extract that metal from the rock. So, iron ore's name is hematite. Um, if you're struggling to remember that, remember heme means anything to do with iron. So, if we're talking about biology and we're talking about hemoglobin, that means the iron containing pigment found in red blood cells. So, heme means iron, hematite is the rock from which iron is extracted. Because iron is combined as an oxide in hematite, we need to remove that oxygen and we're going to use carbon to do that. It's really important that we look at the reactivity series here because carbon appears higher than iron in the reactivity series. What you'll find is that when you react the two together, carbon will effectively bully the oxygen out of the way, leaving iron by itself, which is what we're after. The three raw materials which go into the blast furnace are, first of all, obviously iron in the form of iron oxide. Then we add some coke, which contains carbon. And then finally, we add limestone, calcium carbonate, CaCO3, and what that does is it removes any acidic impurities. So we start burning our coke then, we reach really high temperatures, and it's at that point that carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. It's important that you learn these equations, the balanced symbol equations especially, because you might be asked that very easily in the exam. Then the carbon dioxide reacts with more carbon in order to form carbon monoxide, and carbon monoxide is our reducing agent. So let's quickly take these words and understand what they mean. So oxidation is when something gains oxygen. Reduction is when a substance loses oxygen. So therefore, a reducing agent will be something which causes another substance to lose oxygen, and an oxidizing agent will be a substance which causes another substance to gain oxygen. Now, there are other meanings of oxidation and reduction involving electrons, but that's not what this video is about, so I'll talk about that separately. So, carbon monoxide is our reducing agent, and what it's going to do is it's going to force the iron to give up its oxygen. So the third equation you need to know is that iron oxide reacts with carbon monoxide to form iron by itself and then carbon dioxide as a byproduct. Sometimes at the very hot parts of the blast furnace you'll find that iron oxide reacts just with the carbon and this time you'll form iron but instead you'll form carbon monoxide as the byproduct. See, so and I hope you've seen all the equations flashing up, make sure you know how to balance them. So either learn the balanced equation or if you're good at balancing equations, just work it out in the exam so it's not extra stuff to learn now. Now we need to talk about our limestone. Now, as I said before, limestone is calcium carbonate, CaCO3. First of all, this limestone needs to undergo thermal decomposition reaction. Thermal decomposition means breaking apart something using heat. Thermal heat, decomposition, breaking apart. So we're going to break apart that calcium carbonate and we're going to break it into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So the calcium oxide is the bit we're interested in now because that will be the bit that removes the acidic impurities found within the iron. We're going to take that calcium oxide from the thermal decomposition reaction and we're going to react it with the acidic impurities which in this case is silicon dioxide. So you're going to have calcium oxide plus silicon dioxide and it's going to form calcium silicate which its ordinary name is slag. I don't know why they call it that, it's such a strange word but that is slag. A QC Jasmine, hi Jasmine, told me a good way of remembering this is Casio 3. So you know your calculator that uses mass, Casio, and then add a 3, and that'll help you remember the formula of slag. And its other name is calcium silicate. So at this point, now we have our iron and it's fairly pure. And at this point, we can start adding back, ridiculously, various amounts of carbon in order to form the alloy steel because that's far more useful because pure iron is actually very soft and hard to work with. So that was a really quick video, but I hope I gave you everything you needed to know with the Blast Furnace. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed it.